Hey everybody, welcome to Let's Talk in English. We're on PTS and on the radio, of course. My name is Gabe. And my name's Andrea. All week, we've been learning how to talk about taking care of things. Today, we are going to talk about taking care of plants. And before we can take care of plants, let's look at some key words. Our first one is thirsty. Say it with me. Thirsty. Are you thirsty? Drink some water. Plant. Plant. Mom has lots of flowers and other plants in her house. Grow. Grow. Savannah grew during the summer. She's really tall now. Water. Water. Please water the flowers. It will help them grow. Plenty. Plenty. We have plenty of food. Eat as much as you want. Pretend. Pretend. Tommy isn't really a doctor. He's just pretending to be one. Well, friends, let's not pretend to say our keywords again. Let's do it together. Our first one is thirsty. Thirsty. Plant. Plant. Grow. Grow. Water. Water. Plenty. Plenty. Pretend. Pretend. Okay, now it's time for real for us to go and find out what today's mission is with Eddie. 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 Where's Eddie? Eddie. 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 What are you doing? Huh? Eddie. Eddie. Were you drinking? No. Were I you? Was, I was just uh, watering my plants. Huh. Ah, right. I see. I think you were thirsty. Yeah. Okay, I, think so too. I was. I was thirsty. Well, we want to know what today's mission is. I can give it to you. Here it is. What is Sarah not ready to be? What is Sarah not ready to be? Well, are you ready? Let's go find out the answer to the mission in today's lesson. Good morning, Fern. Are you thirsty? <laughs> Have some water. Hi, Betty. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to Fern. Fern? Who's Fern? Fern is my plant. I just got her. I mean it. Oh, it's pretty. Why do you talk to your plant? Well, I heard that talking to plants is good for them. It can help them grow. You know, I think this is very interesting. Betty says that talking to plants can be good for them. And what does Betty say at the very beginning here? What is she saying to her plant? Well, Betty says, "Good morning, Fern. Are you thirsty? Have some water." You know, it sounds like Betty is talking to a person, not a plant. That's right. But we find out that it is her plant. It is her plant. Fern. Well, she has a question. Are you thirsty? Now, I have a point to teach here. It says the key word, thirsty. Thirsty. If you are thirsty, that that means you need something to drink. You need something to drink really badly. You are thirsty. You can ask someone this question. Are you thirsty? It's the same way of asking, "Do you want a drink?" When you are thirsty, you need something to drink. Well, hey, Andrea, since you are thirsty, I, I got you some water. Oh, thank you. Yes, Gabe, I am thirsty, and water always helps me not to be thirsty anymore. Good. I hope you are not thirsty anymore. It is good to have something to drink, and people need to drink, but so do plants. Now let's look at this word, the word plant. Plant. 
A plant is something that grows in nature, like a flower or a tree. You can find plants outside, or people also have plants in their houses. And of course, plants grow just like people do. Let's look at this word, grow. G R O W, grow. If something grows, that means it gets bigger. And for plants to grow, they need water and light. Then they'll keep getting bigger and bigger. And of course, we want your ability to speak English to grow. Is Fern hard to take care of? No, I just water her often and give her plenty of sunlight. That's not too hard. It isn't. Hey, what's that you're holding? Oh, <laughs> this is Al. Al? Yes, he's my school project. Al is my baby, and I'm his mom. Oh, I've heard about this project. Students take care of bags of flour like they are real babies. Right, and we have to keep a journal about our experience. So Sarah introduces Al to Betty. Sarah is taking care of Al, and Betty is taking care of her plant. That's right. Betty is taking care of her plant. She says, "I just water her often and give her plenty of sunlight." It sounds like she is taking good care of her plant. That's true, and her plant also has a name. She calls her plant. Fern. Betty says that she waters fern. Let's learn that key word. Water. Water. When you water a plant, that means you give the plant water. If a plant is thirsty, you should water it. That's right. Or maybe you have a garden. Huayun, and you might need to water this garden and make sure that all the flowers and all the plants. Have enough water to grow. So Betty waters her plant fern. She also makes sure that she has plenty of sunlight. Well, let's learn that key word: plenty. Plenty. If you have plenty of something, that means you have enough, or maybe even more than enough. So Betty wants this plant to have plenty of sunlight. And it's important for people to have plenty of food to eat. And of course, if you're a student and you need to have time to do something, you need plenty of time to do it. We hope that you have plenty of time to practice all the things you learn with us. So, do you talk to Al? Sometimes, I like to sing to him too. Really? That's sweet. You're a good mom. <laughs> I like pretending to be a mom, but I'm not ready to be a real mom yet. I know what you mean. Hey, maybe I should sing to Fern. Sure. Betty had a little fern, little fern, little fern. <gasps> Betty had a little fern, a little fern, a little fern. <clears throat> well, Gabe, that was a good conversation. Well, Andrea, I agree. We found some good things to teach. That's right, and we see that we have a key word right here. So, Gabe, let's go ahead and start teaching this key word. The word、uh... is pretend. Pretend. <clears throat> Now, if you pretend to do something, that means you are acting like something that you are not. And just a minute ago, I was pretending to be Andrea, and I was pretending to be Gabe. But of course, I'm not Gabe. But it's fun to pretend to be someone you are not. That's right. So we see here that Sarah likes pretending to be something. And that sounds like.
the answer to our mission. It is the answer to our mission. So the mission is, what is Sarah not ready to be? What is Sarah not ready to be? Sarah is not ready to be a mom, but she likes pretending to be one. That's right, she likes pretending to be a mom. Well, friends, is there anything that you like to pretend, Jia Zhuang, to be? Inspector E. Hi there, everyone. This is Mrs. E. Do you remember what Ben asked Sarah? Let's look again at this week's lessons together. Stop asking me! Stop asking me! Stop asking me! Stop asking me. Ben wants Sarah to take care of his cockroaches. Sarah doesn't want to, so she says, stop asking me. You can use this phrase when you want to tell someone, stop doing something. Now, Sarah says, stop asking me. Did you notice that there is a verb after stop? Use the verb in ing form. Let's try some examples. Stop talking to me. I need some quiet time. Or, stop walking. Wait for me. You can also use a phrase after stop. Stop looking at me. I don't like it. Or, stop talking to him. He's busy. To be more polite, please is added. Please stop playing music. Mom is sleeping. Stop watching TV. I'm trying to study. Now stop listening to me. It's time to go. Now remember, use what you learned or lose it. This is Mrs. E signing off. Conversation Replay Good morning, Fern. Are you thirsty? <laughs> Have some water. Hi, Betty. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to Fern. Fern? Who's Fern? Fern is my plant. I just got her. I mean it. Oh, it's pretty. Why do you talk to your plant? Well, I heard that talking to plants is good for them. It can help them grow. Is Fern hard to take care of? No, I just water her often and give her plenty of sunlight. That's not too hard. It isn't. Hey, what's that you're holding? Oh, <laughs> this is Al. Al? Yes, he's my school project. Al is my baby and I'm his mom. Oh, I've heard about this project. Students take care of bags of flour like they are real babies. Right. And we have to keep a journal about our experience. So, do you talk to Al? Sometimes. I like to sing to him, too. Really? That's sweet. You're a good mom. <laughs> I like pretending to be a mom, but I'm not ready to be a real mom yet. I know what you mean. Hey, maybe I should sing to Fern. Sure. Betty had a little Fern, little Fern, little Fern. <gasps> She's growing. Calendar Phrase. You know, Andrea, I just really wanted to tell you thanks for your help. Oh, Gabe, no problem. I'm happy to help you. Yes, thank you for helping me teach today's calendar phrase. It is, thanks for your help. Thanks for your help. Now, if someone has helped you do something, this is a very polite and very good thing to say to them. Thanks for your help. And I think that our calendar phrase skit is going to help all of you understand this. That's right. So let's go see that right now.
Thanks for your help. Thanks for your help. Hey, I just wanted to call and say thanks for your help. Oh, you're welcome. Really, you helped me a lot this weekend. Thanks a lot for your help. It was my pleasure. But I want you to know that it means a lot to me. It was not easy to help me study for that test. Yes, it was. Oh, really? Well, thanks for all your help. No problem. Thanks for your help. Thanks for your help. Hey, all right, Andrea, that's a nice dance. Now it's time to find out the question of the day. I have it! I have it! <laughs> well, it's nice to see you are prepared, Eddie. Yes! I'm not pretending. I yeah. really know the answer. Well, we really want the question. Oh, the question? Yes. Oh, okay. I can give you the question. Here it is. What do you take care of? What do you take care of? Well, I take care of many things. I take care of my home. I take care of my husband. I take care of my work. Hmm. <laughs> Those are nice things to take care of. Okay, everybody. We want to thank you for joining us here today on Let's Talk in English. We're on PTS and the radio. Where taking care of your husband can be fun, right, Andrea? Bye-bye, <laughs> okay, everyone. Okay, bye-bye. See bye -bye. you. <laughs>